Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns and beautiful. Look at that tree and that sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is October the 23rd, right? 23rd? Yes. 2022. And I still have my <clears throat> sickness a little bit. Um, this is like week two. The bronchitis is gone, but I just got some stuff in my sinuses and in my throat. <clears throat> so if I keep clearing my throat, please excuse me. I don't feel bad at all, but yeah. Part of it is that the air here is really dry now. And I don't do good with dry air. I could never survive in the desert. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is that the Green Guard shoot blocker is starting to fail on me. And I'm gonna have to actually show you, demonstrate what it's doing, instead of telling you. It's not the motor, it's the gear case that's starting to fail. I look back on my records, I put this on in uh, January. So let me pull the mower out of here and let me show you exactly what it's doing. So <clears throat> this is not supposed to be loose like this. And it's not the frame or the bolts that hold the uh, frame of the, um, the actual uh, blocker to the, the motor. We'll call this the motor frame. Uh, what it is, it's in here. So let me take this plate off right here and let me show you exactly what it's doing. All right, so this, uh, <clears throat> these are quarter inch right here. All right, and this plate just kind of slides back. There is um, a grommet right here, so I'm not going to try to stress that. <clears throat> All right, so inside here, as you can see, is there's a shaft right here in the middle that runs through. The gear is on the outside, and this is like a little um, like a little plate. So if I put this up just a little bit, okay. See the see the movement in the shaft. What's happening is it should be just like this, and the hole. There's an oblong hole in here. And I'm assuming that this is a little bit softer metal than this shaft. I would think this shaft is hardened uh, more, but that's what's happening. It's not the gear. The gear comes around here. It's under this grease, but it's just the uh, it's the shaft. And and I think that what causes this is that multiple thousands of times every time this stops, right? There's a momentary uh, application of torque still on the gear and obviously this isn't going anywhere so over time um, it wallows out a little bit so the question is how do we fix this well the proper way to fix this would be to replace this assembly here I am going to uh, reach out to Jeremiah with the green guard and 
see what kind of warranty there is on that. However, in the interim, and I'll make sure that he'll see this video in the interim, um, what's going to happen is if I don't do something with this shaft, it will eventually completely wallow out so that the gear will just spin and we're not going to get any type of movement um, here at all. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, I'm going to clean this up as best as, as best I can and I'm going to take my MIG welder and I'm going to uh, tack weld this end piece, the end of the shaft to this um, this little plate here. That will stop the uh, movement here for sure because this is just this is this is going to continue to get worse and worse. Um, I, I don't see any other way to fix that. I hope the camera is showing the amount of movement. So, yeah, I, I don't know how many, I don't know how many cycles that I've used this. It's been thousands. I use it hundreds of times a day and multiply that times, what, 10, almost 10 months of use. So it is uh, something that I think he needs to take a look at. I don't know if anybody else is having that problem, but if you use a lot, you're you're gonna have you're gonna end up having that. It, it looks like so. I definitely don't abuse it, and you definitely when it's stopped at its either its top travel or bottom travel, you don't want to keep your finger on the power because the motor is going to continue to try to turn. But I think just over time, doing that over and over and over and over has started to wallow that out. So I am going to load the mower up and take it to where my MIG welder is and um, put a tack weld on that and see if that'll hold it for a while. So let's, uh, let me load everything up and we'll, uh, we'll do that now. See how this goes. All right, so I had to be really, really careful. I don't know how thin this plate is. So I think that's all I'm gonna do on that. I'm gonna let it, well, let me plug it up and see if it still works. Should. Okay, so now what we're seeing is the shaft is no longer moving. Um, I would say it's probably 50% better. So that's telling me that we have some play in the gear assembly itself. Yeah, that shaft no longer moves, but that's all right. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it is less, for sure. All right, so as I said before, this is just a uh, temporary repair. So I am 100% confident that the shaft itself is not gonna wallow that hole out because now it can't go anywhere. But the play also is in the, it looks like the, 
the large gear. There's a large gear that's attached to that plate. And there's probably a uh, some sort of a little, uh, maybe a little pinion on the other side. And that is got some wear in it, but the main issue of the shaft itself wallowing in the hole is no longer no longer an issue. So So it does move a little, but not as much as it did. All right. Okay, so I will, uh, I'm gonna reach out to Jeremiah with the green guard and see, uh, cause if I'm having this problem there's probably other people that will have it or have had it and um, I guess we'll find out what kind of warranty this uh, this motor and gear case assembly have on it so I'll let you guys know in another follow-up video and with that being said I will see you on the next video